What is up guys, it is Keegan here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode number 7 of the Sit and Crack Career Mode. Today's episode, we are going to be playing a lot of games here. We got 15 games left in the league season, and I want to try to finish this in two episodes. Might mean we have to sim a few games, but that is the plan. Now, one thing I said I was going to do is change the sliders. I got a suggestion in the MGH Discord on a decent slider idea, so I'm going to give it a try for this episode. So leave everything on my sliders at 50, but go basically up to for everything for the CPU. So two sprint speed acceleration, minus two shot errors, and et cetera, et cetera. Instead of change and don't change like this positioning stuff and how like they play. Just make them a little better here. So we'll see how that changes things. We're going away to Schalke. I've been told that this is not a good stadium to play at. So hopefully the stadium isn't too much for us in this game. All right, we are here at Schalke away. The Wamukatuka party has been going crazy the last few games. He's got four goals in three games. Been very, very good for him. We're going with the same starting 11 as you would expect. He saw Shade Kolasinac in there. Kabak is still there in this save as well. They don't have um, a Mustafi as well in the save because of when I started it. Uh, Plenty up top. They have Diakabe. Pretty sure that's a former Lyon player in the back line. Uh, if memory serves, Farman in goal. And definitely a very, very solid team. Um, definitely a team that we were expecting to compete with at the start of the season for them to be mid-table on FIFA. But we ended up being a little better than expected. So let's see how these sliders go and if it makes it a little bit more challenging in this career mode. Oh my god, and they've scored early. I completely switched off there for a second. I don't know what I was doing defensively. And they have put us 1-0, uh, they've gone 1-0 up. I wonder, the same doesn't feel that frustrating to play in. I, I don't know why C-Money, maybe it's just the camera you're playing on. But this stadium seems perfectly fine to play in, and what a finish that is. I think that's a striker there, Palencia. What a volley that was. And they go 1-0 up against us. Yeah, Palencia, oh, it's not Palencia, Pacencia. Only a second goal in the Bundesliga so far this season, but wow, what a second goal it was. Oh, what a pass in there to Wemigatuka. This is our opportunity to get one back. Out to Mangala, and he can't get through there. Our first real chance of the game in here, and it goes to complete waste. Oh, all right, we are at the end of the first half, and this has certainly been a much more difficult half. Here for us, 1-0 down away at Schalke. These sliders are definitely making it a little bit more difficult. Obviously, the little bit of extra pace on my opposing, my opponent's player is definitely giving them a little bit of an advantage. But I just have not been playing well in this game, despite all of that. So hopefully, the second half, we can change things around. Maybe get a point here, salvage something out of this game. And that is the end of the game there. Wow, 1-0 result. This was a terribly boring game, honestly. I feel like if... Was trying to feel out this entire game. Really got no good opportunities the entire game. But besides the goal, Schalke really didn't either. Not really one of those super exciting back and forth games you can see there. They had more of the possession, but not a lot of shots to go around. And we take our first loss in honestly quite a while in this career mode. And that should, you know, you know, put us in a little bit of trouble. We're only in fourth right now, so not too big a deal. And it looks like Sosa wants to get another game. So the next game is against Hoffenheim. I'll give Sosa a start, and I'll see you guys then. All right, we are at home today. It's a classic Bundesliga game. We are in the snow against Hoffenheim. Still wish that they made the ball orange uh, in the snow games. But this is the lineup. Frank is at an 80 overall, which is big. Wemming Atuka is still 75. Kind of wish his overall would go up a little higher. Sosa obviously draws in as he requested to. In the previous, um, in a little email he sent, Kamavinga is at Offenheim. Oh no, this is not good. Kanate at the back, but the fact that they have Kamavinga that is insane. <laughs> that could make Offenheim in future seasons a huge threat. But right now, all that matters is getting the three points at home. A team that is kind of pushing up on us in seventh place a little bit, and want to make sure we keep them away from us uh, at the top of the table. Oh my god, what a save by Kobel there. The player just cut inside and had a great attempt on goal. And once again, these sliders are proving to be difficult. Is Sessegnon on this team? I think he actually did get loaned out there. 
to be fair, so I don't think that's going to be a permanent problem for us. Like Kamavinga appears to be, which, which could be alone as well, but that one I doubt alone more, though. So ho early on, Hoffenheim are really putting a lot of pressure on us. So we got to weather this early storm and try to get a goal. Oh, Frank has found Gonzalez through. The keeper has made the save. Oh, but we can't get the rebound. Our first big opportunity of this game. Hoffenheim have been dominating at times. But we finally found a little bit of a breakthrough to show we can get through that Hoffenheim back line. All right, their free kick has ended the first half. Basically, we've had two big chances on either side here. But other than that, nothing really doing. Nil, nil going into the half. They've obviously had more of the ball. And I think that's part of the struggle I'm going to have on this, uh, on this new, these new sliders. But I think we are still very much in this game. A lot of their chances have, been, have not been good, to say the least. So all we need is to get that one good chance and take it and take this win. Oh my god, and off the corner, somehow the header has just gone through him there. And Hoffenheim take probably at this point a deserved 1-0 lead. They've had two decent chances, I think, I would say, in this half. And I think, is that Kabak who's put this away? Oh, and it's not Kabak because it's Hoffenheim. Oh my lord, I don't know what I'm saying. But the header, we should win the first header, and then that should be cleared off the line. Just what a frustrating goal that is. Uh, Kaderabak has scored his first goal of the season. What a surprise. And now we're playing from behind again. Oh, and Gonzalez has put that away from Frank. The patience in front of goal to take that opportunity and to get this point versus Hoffenheim. It looked dire for us a lot of this game, but wow, what a finish that was. His 12th of the year, and you can see that Frank just beautiful find. We're going to put Dadavi back in here, and just from that position, you can know Gonzalez is going to put that one away. Oh, and this looks like it's going to be bad news for Hoffenheim. Garcia already had a yellow card, so he is getting sent off here. With about 10 minutes left to go, I'll bring Forster on here. Just to give Mangala continued rest, and that is very, very bad news. Gonzalez continuing to cause issues. All right, we only have seven minutes left. Ooh, Dadavi. All right, he's on top of it. Let's see if we can't get an opportunity for him, and that's just a terrible... Terrible free kick. And we'll bring Kalajic on here just at the very end. Wyman Gatuka just has just after that four goals in three games, has started off pretty rough this episode. But let's see if we can't take advantage of this 10 men at Hoffenheim team and get a win here. Oh my god, what a chance that is at the end. And he's completely sent it over. And I think that's gonna be our final opportunity of this game against Hoffenheim. Only two minutes left. If we can press here for another opportunity, we might be able to get one, but... Oh, well, it looks like we're going to get to Sosa here. So we do are going to get that one last opportunity. All right, we'll get into Gonzalez here. See if he can beat his man. He can, but can he get back in position to score? No, he cannot. And a one-all draw against Hoffenheim. Pretty good result, albeit considering we didn't have the best of performances. And a point there will keep them from attempting to leapfrog us in the table. As you can see there, we, we pulled back a few more shots. Not many on target, but evened it up a little bit despite the possession at the end. As you can see there, we are still in fourth place. But Hoffenheim with that draw, pull into sixth. And they are only four points behind us right now. Heard the Berlin is the next game up. Let's see how they're doing in the season Obviously, they've spent a little bit of money. Probably their 13th in the league and not looking good for her to Berlin. So hopefully we can take advantage of this and get the three points. All right, we are here at the Mercedes-Benz Arena against her to Berlin. Let's see the team they actually went with this time. Looks like they have Guendouzi, two-star, former Lyon player in there. Kuyate in the back. So definitely a team that should be doing better than they are. But, you know... Given that the fact that they're a little lower down the table should give us confidence that we can go in and get all three points here at home. Oh, what a cross in there from Wemegatuka into Gonzalez. Three minutes into the game. Perfectly found there, and Gonzalez holds the line well. 
and we are one nil up here early just kind of as you would expect against this team and wow what a pass by dodo in there and why well, make it tuka that is a beautiful cross and such an easy finish for gonzalez 13th goal of the season oh my god and mateo guanduzzi has leveled it just could not clear this ball what a crazy just a bit of nonsense at the back wow those are some sick kits i can't lie look at that kemp great tackle dodo just i probably should have slid in there with dodo and then guanduzzi at the near post a beautiful finish from him somehow only his first goal of the season and we are back level at one Oh, and that is going to be a penalty. Gonzalez has held the ball up well against the back line and has earned himself a penalty. Who is that that fouled him? Foke? Look at that. Held up well, and that is surely a penalty. And I think that's going to be Wema Gatuka who is going to take it. Let's see if he can place it here. Bottom left-hand corner. Keeper goes the wrong way, and we have restored the lead before halftime. 2-1. Well, we have earned, I think, this lead here again. Played a decent game so far. And, you know, we've held the ball up well in the attacking area. And we have been rewarded with a penalty. Good to give it to Wemek Katuka as well. Ten goals on the season for him on the right-hand side. He is slowly becoming probably one of the best uh, best players in my team behind Frank and Gonzalez. He started off slow, but he's now right there behind them. All right, that was a risky tackle there. We're going to get away without a card there, though. But 2-1 going into the half. A great half it was. Oh, we can see that nice little cross again from Wemega Tuka. Wow, that was beautiful. And we have just outshot them completely in this game. Hurt to Berlin have not been able to create anything besides that one chance. And we have been the team on the front foot. Hopefully we can keep that up and take this win to the bank and keep our keep our chances at the European spots as open as possible. Oh, Robin Hack has gone in behind the defense, and oh, what a chance for Robin Hack. I didn't want to sweat it across to Frank. I feared the defender might have been able to get over there in time, but wow, great chance there for us to make it through one. Wait, why is Dominic Calvert-Lewin coming on for, ha for her to Berlin? How has this team been 13? Oh my lord, this makes no sense. Dude, hurt to Berlin. They have the money, and they surely now have the players to be making a push up the table. But clearly, it's not gone to plan for them this season. And oh, Gonzalez just held his run up there, but he should be able to beat the defender. No, he cannot. Oh my God! And they have scored here two all. Man, Calvert Lewin has come on and changed the game. Wow. To think they left a player of Calvert-Lewin's quality on the bench is beyond me. And why he's even on Hurt to Berlin is also beyond me. But what a finish that is. And just just a madness at the back there. Must have been a January transfer move there for Hurt to Berlin. But wow, big moves for Hurt to Berlin. And Calvert-Lewin has given them a bit, brought them back here, given them another chance at a point. Oh my god, and Frank has found Wemigatuka. Can he put this away? Oh my lord, and the keeper has saved it right after that chance. Right after that chance. Uh, or not that chance, that goal from Calvert-Lewin. We have got a big chance to come back. We'll bring Dadavi on. Oh, and it looks like a potentially a foul there against Gonzalez, but they're never going to give those on the corners. Oh my god, What? What is Dodo doing? I hit the ball, the button to send the ball out. Oh my god. Wow, what a nightmare this is. Look at that Calvert Lewin. I mean, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. How did I press the button to pass it out with, with Dodo and. And we lose the game. They've come back and they have beaten us 3-2 to two at home. And that is an embarrassing result for us there. <sighs> Maybe realistically it isn't even an embarrassing result. They, we had more opportunities, but they have the better quality than Calvert-Lewin, Gunduzi, Tussar. They definitely have the team for this. But wow, what a shocking result. <laughs> and we stayed top four, though. A big loss there, looks like, by Frankfurt. But 
those positions are looking ever dire in <laughs> looking ever dire for us here. Next up, we have a game against Amuch and Gladbach. We'll definitely be playing that one. And then we have Frankfurt and Wolfsburg <laughs> at home and away. So still a lot of big games to play here. All right, we are away at Borussia Amuch and Gladbach. Definitely a very, very tough team, and a team that should be a lot higher up the table this season. Stindl, Toram, and Bolo, Newhouse, Zakaria, Vestergaard, Bednarek, Liner, Somarangol. Wow, this team is something else. We are going with our full starting 11 today, and we have been in a bad run of form. Obviously, the sliders have made it more difficult, and it's going to take some time to adjust for them to be how a normal result would go. But, you know... We do have to make this series a little more difficult. We don't want to shoot all the way to the Champions League right away. But hopefully we can get another point out of this game and continue to try our best at holding on to our to European spot. Oh, what a pass there into Gonzalez. He is through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. How has the keeper saved that? Oh my gosh, we had such a good chance to go ahead. But wow, the keeper is up to the challenge. Oh, here's Wemeng Gatuka down this right-hand side into Frank and a big block there by Mooch, the Mooch and Gladbach defender. We have done a really good job of making chances here early on. We've had the only team to really have a, ch a chance this game. Get that cross in to Gonzalez and the keeper again with a big save there to keep us out. See if we can get on the head of Gonzalez. And wow, three chances for Gonzalez and all of them have gone awry. Oh, what a pass by Frank here. Wemming Gatuka. Lay it off for Robin Hack. And all right, I don't know what I can do anymore. I don't know. I can't even sweat it to get a goal here in this game. Another big save by Somair, the keeper. It's just such a frustrating first half of football. It shows I'm starting to get a little bit of use to these sliders now. I'm starting to attack well, but man, is the keeper ever... <laughs> is the keeper ever turning up today? Nil nil going in at halftime. Let's see the match facts because they have to be ridiculous. Like these match facts have to be absolutely ridiculous here. 11 shots, 7 on target, 37% possession. A lot of them have been through the counter attack, but man, we deserve at least a goal here in this game. Well, Robin Hack has found Gonzalez in here. Once again, he is through on goal with the keeper, and he just can't finish this. I do not know what is going on with Nicolas Gonzalez today. Brem, Brel Embolo is coming on. It looks like Wolf is coming on to replace him. So that should hopefully save us a little bit from the dangerous man that is Embolo, but we have to find a breakthrough somewhere. Oh, what a pass there. Robin Hack is now on the counterattack. Let's see if he can't get one here. Into Gonzalez has to put it away. And he finally puts it away. It took 10 shots, it feels like, to finally get Gonzalez to put one away. But we have gotten our goal here against Muchin Gladbach. Thoroughly deserved, I think. We should be up by way more. Looks like we're going to bring on a third center back here, Anton. Uh, for Endo. Endo has worked very, very hard this game. And then Gonzalez almost just... I mean, the keeper made it easy for him with that effort uh, to, to save it. And looks like Lars Stindl is coming off as well. So that was their man in form. So they're two big attackers now on the bench. 72 minutes in. Oh my god. And they have, they have brought it level. And we have... We'll bring Sosa on. We have lost the game. Ben Sanabi... We have surely deserved the win in this game, but that finish has put them level and have gotten them a relatively undeserved point, but their keeper, Somar, has had an absolute magical game today. Hard to fault us for that, and wow, what a game this has been. A point away to Muchin Gladbach is always good as Stuttgart, but man, this one does not feel like a good draw. Definitely feels like a two points loss versus three versus a point gain here. And see, 15 shots to 10. And we have drew one all. Unbelievable scenes it has been for us there. Defensive laps at the end. 
and we are still comfortably in fourth, but not going to be that comfortable come the end of the season. Now, taking a look at the fixture with Kaminsky, I don't know why he wants to play. Look at the fixture list. We have a lot of sim games coming up in the next episode, so I think we're going to leave it at Frankfurt today. I don't think Kaminsky has even played to said he's playing well, so I don't know what he's thinking about that. But Frankfurt are in seventh place right now, and man, they look like they need to be getting up there with that quality of team. But hopefully we can keep our spot here <laughs> on fourth place. We've been holding on to it dearly despite these poor results. All right, we are now playing Frankfurt. We are at the Mercedes-Benz. So that is good for us here in this game. And Andre Silva, Jovic, Sané in defense, Kevin Trapp. This is a very, very tough match for us here. But the last time you guys know, we pulled off a miracle comeback. Hopefully we can have a similarly positive result here against Frankfurt and keep keep our European spot intact. Oh, what a find in there for Robin Hack early in the game. And the keeper has made a big save. Don't want to run into the same thing we ran into last game where the keeper just is has an amazing game against us again and prevents us from getting all three points. And somehow, Frankfurt have gone 1-0 up off this corner. They've had a few corners in a row that we've managed to, to block all of them and send them out. But this one, just an unfortunate bounce there. We head it out and it heads it right to their defender who boots it right into the back of the net. As you can see there, wow, just super unfortunate timing. Marvapanos on the deck. Endo, Endo's doing some weird formation kind of deal. And just somehow it goes past all of them for his first goal of the season. Oh, Wemon Katuka right back again has brought us level. The big man on the right hand side. What a player he is. Honestly, one of the sweatiest, one of the sweatiest wingers slash strikers I think I've ever used in a FIFA. This man is just so good. Down that wing, even when the CPU has the higher pace through the sliders. And that rebound has gone right in. 11 goals on that right-hand side this season for Wemega Tuka. Well, and I've completely screwed it up. I've thrown the ball out. And Jovic has put it in the back of the net. What was I thinking here? I thought I could get it to the... Thought I could get it to the defender there for some reason, or I thought I was throwing it to the left back. I don't know. Either way, <laughs> this game was starting to get a little wild with goals, just like the first game we had against them um, at Frankfurt. Now it's 2 1. And that is the end of the first half 2 1. Honestly, it's just an unfortunate goal I've conceded. I've usually got one of those in me every once in a while, just throw it out for no reason. But the game's been relatively even, so I think we should be able to come back here in the second half and pull back a draw. Oh my god, and Dodo right at the start of halftime, right out in the second half, has found Frank and he has slotted that one in perfectly. The sweat, and that is the pace that that right-hand side brings. Dodo and Wemmick Katuka down the right-hand side. You cannot catch them ever. And we've quickly pulled this one back to two all. Look at that. Perfect pass and perfect positioning for Frank. And that is his seventh goal of the season. Oh, wow. Frank into Wemon Gatuka. Wemon Gatuka. Oh, the cross is sent behind. We'll bring Dadavi on for Frank here. Give him a little bit of a rest. Bring a little bit more freshness in there. All right, so Hack found a cross, and it looks like we're not going to be able to get anything off this corner here. Oh, Wamakatuka has found Gonzalez. He has to finish this one. There's no excuse, and the keeper cannot stop making these saves. Dude, this keeper and the and the Muchen Gladbach keeper, Somer. Wow, just absolutely amazing game for both of these keepers today. And that is the end of the game and the end of the episode. Two all. 
we've had some we had some good chances at the end and we might have been able to win but a point is still a point and keeping teams like frankfurt from gaining points on us is still very important in the context of this league season let's take a look at where we are in the table we're now down to six in the league these sliders have certainly made it more difficult on us and hopefully in the next episode we can start picking up some wins and that win, wow, that could have been a good opportunity to get some wins. But we are now in 6th place, 10 wins, 10 draws, and 4 losses. 1 point behind Hoffenheim and 3 points behind Werder Bremen. Um, and then 1 point ahead of Frankfurt and 4 ahead of Mucin Gladbach. So, a lot to play for. I'm going to try to get it all done in the next episode for Season 1. If not, we will have 2 more. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like rating, subscribe if you are new to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video, and as always, have a wonderful day.